Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. I am a little late to the party with this one, mostly because I'm blocked from viewing their tweets, but I've finally found uh, the response from Mars Girl's husband. So we're going to go through it today, and it says... Up till now, people have been saying things left and right about my wife, 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 <laughs> Kaylin or Marsgill, in regards to this whole Kick Vic business, and I admittedly haven't said much of anything beyond the occasional retweet. Today I'm saying something because it's the right thing to do, and admittedly something I should have done much sooner. Well, we can both agree there, yeah, you should have stuck up for your wife a lot sooner, mate. For months now, I've watched as people from all corners of social media have come out of the woodwork to throw vitriol and ugliness at her, trying to attack her looks or make outrageous claims, twisting wording and facts to suit their version of the story while admitting others. In the process, they simultaneously try to condone actions and way of thinking that are cowardly, reprehensible and bordering on the criminal. Right, so we're just for that Pat Robert there, bordering on the criminal... What did your wife do, Josh? She went and publicly asked people to dock someone. That's a criminal offence right there, mate. The fact is this. The hashtag was started by Kaylin. Oh, look, even admits it, even though she came out and said, no, I never done anything to it. Right, so we got that one by there. It was based on a simple idea that women should be taken at face value when they come forward for the better part of a decade with allegations of sexual misconduct and let the facts speak for themselves. She wasn't saying anything new. The claims had been out there for a while. She just asked for people to take a look. She stood up knowing there was nothing to gain but the ear of those out there that took issue with decisions that were never in their hands to begin with. Unfortunately, some people just like to hear what reinforces their preconceived notions or prejudice based on as little research as possible. Right, this is coming from his, you know, from him now, where his wife publicly docked someone, asked Yellow Flash to be done, and a few other things, which again hasn't been found out. She didn't somehow magically get a job at Federation or Rooster Teeth from several states away to screw someone's career over. No one's mother was doxxed and no cabals were formed to target or men. Not a single video, monetized or otherwise, has been made by her on the subject, because doing this was never about money or fame. But she literally inserted herself into the centre of it when she supposedly asked for the yellow flash to be doxxed because her lawyers wanted the information. The, her lawyers would have got the information without her asking for people to dox him. The people who are attempting to monetize the situation are those that can't exist without something to scapegoat to garner hate views for profit. If they weren't focused on her, it would be someone else. They want to act as though they personally have been wronged as they, <laughs> as though they have skin in the game and aren't enabling each other to make similar content, attacking Kaylin or others who have spoken out. A lot of them wish they had the kind of pull that comes from people believing in an actual moral cause and not some bastardised version of justice or karma that skews widely towards men or obsessive fans. Why is it men and or... Oh, God, mate. You are literally the biggest cuck going. Let's not kid ourselves. This has gone far beyond the original issue. These videos make her out to be somehow simultaneously both irrelevant and the worst thing to happen to anime. She was betrayed by a friend and had information leaked out by her attempt to deal with a level of harassment that no average person has to deal with on a daily basis. What about Vic? You know, Vic gets insults, he gets all these things that you're just saying right now, Josh. Come on. The insults, review bombing, slurs, threats all really show how much these individuals actually care. Considering most of them can't or don't bother to spell her name, screen or actual correctly. Josh, Josh, Josh. As far as I'm concerned, it's not a matter of pretending the comments don't exist or that people aren't wishing that she had died in a car accident four years ago. They certainly do. It's a matter of acknowledging they have no weight or substance and that we have no desire to entertain them. You can attack me, but you won't get much satisfaction out of trying. I've heard all the insults. I can be called about my looks, my character, my ethnicity, and my family to my face for feasibly longer than some of you have had facial hair. 
And if we've never interacted before, that makes it really easy to determine why you would want to try to instigate a debate with me after reading this. At the end of the day, my stance is straightforward. I agree with her initial decision to bring this issue to light. I believe in listening to those that have come forward so that they can have their voices heard. I denounce anyone who would go out of their way to attack her directly, indirectly, or otherwise influence others to try and make her life miserable online or in person in regards to this issue. I am proud to have someone who is as beautiful and passionate as Kaylin in my life. She has a love and support of not just myself, but the number of others who see this situation for what it is. And if you have a problem with that, I don't care. So, with all of this, there's parts of it I do agree with, and there's parts of it I completely go against. Uh, so we'll do the ones that we uh, that I go with first that I actually agree with. The ones with people coming out making fun of her looks and all this kind of stuff and body shaming. Yeah, cause that's not right, guys. You know, it's again people. I've brought this up many times before in a couple of videos, and some of the comments I've had a bit. You know, basically they're like, "Oh well, who cares?" You know, it's like, "Well, okay, that's fair enough. That's how they are." But that's myself. I think body shaming and doing all this kind of stuff is wrong. You shouldn't go out and do it against people. And, you know, it's like when you've got people by hearing you, he says, people who are attempting to monetize the situation. Well, I do, I do monetize all my videos. I do. And, again, I'm not trying to monetize it because of the situation. I do it because I'm a fan of anime. I'm a fan of Vic. And at this moment in time, he is innocent until proven guilty. That's what I'm all for. So... When you see people come out and straight away and say he's guilty, but there's no evidence, and it's been going on for so long, and they've only just decided to go to the police, or just, they haven't even gone to the police, they've just gone on social media, I'm a bit like, well, come on, that's a little bit weird and a little bit strange, you know, you should have gone to the police when all this happened, first of all, made a complaint, you know, make sure it's on record, sort of thing. But then, you know, it's like, you've got another thing here where he says about... The original issue of what it is. And you know these videos make her out to be somehow simultaneously both irrelevant and the worst thing to happen to anime. Well saying that I don't know anyone and I haven't actually heard any videos state she's the worst thing to happen to anime. It's yeah it's like you know, for me there it's like well no that hasn't really happened. You know the insults, review bombing, slurs and the death threats. Again, I haven't seen any death threats. I have seen the one where you know, we, where he's stating about the car accident. Where someone said, I hope you die in a car accident or whatever. And she goes, well, I survived. I thought that was a little bit below the belt. And I was like, yeah, it's a bit too much. What, what we're looking at here really is. She's basically doing, for Kick Vic, what we're all doing for I Stand With Vic. Again, her coming out and asking someone to dock someone and get information and all this kind of stuff. That's wrong. He's trying to condone it as well, saying, oh, it was leaked out here. She tried to get a level of harassment that no average person has to deal with on a daily basis. And I said, Vic gets that on a daily basis. That umbrella guy, Yellow Flash, tons of people get this, get this deal of harassment every single day. And this guy is just saying, well, no one else has had it, only my wife. No. Again, he is with her. And he is only going by what he's seen towards her. He's not looking into it. And again, she's probably saying, oh, look at this direct message I've had. Look at what I've had here. Look what I've had here. It's not right. And when he says, at the end of the day, I stand straightforward. I agree with her decision. Again, it's his wife. And I agree with that to bring this issue to light. However, if these people are only saying shit on social media and not going to the police or anything about it i'm a little bit skeptic you know and you're meant to be the victim that's where i draw the line it's like yeah you're causing all this shit you're meant to be a victim victims don't do this if you are new to the channel like and subscribe please hit that notification bell i am sorry for the sniffles and i hope to see your lovely faces soon